next point in the today's lecture to start the solid fuel in solid fuel the example is a coal coal is highly carbonaceous fossil fuel that has been produced as a result of vegetable debris under the favorable conditions of high temperature and pressure over millions of year it is chiefly composed of carbon hydrogen nitrogen oxygen beside non combustible inorganic matter the transformation of vegetable debris to cool take place in two stages biochemical or peat stage during this stage the plant material were attacked attacked by various microorganisms next the chemical sta stage or metamorphic stage in this stage the peat deposit burn buried under sedimentary deposit loses loses moisture and volatile components under the effect of high temperature and pressure the peat get enriched in carbon whereas it oxygen content decreases see the next point is a peat peat considered considered to be precursor of coal has industrial importance as fuel in some regions for example in ireland or finland in its dehydrated form peat is a highly effective absorbent for fuel and oil spills spills on land and water it is also used as conditioner for soil to make it more able to retain and slowly release water next is a lig lignite or brown coal it is lowest rank of coal and used almost exclusively as a fuel for electric power generation jet a compact form of lignite is sometimes polished and has been used as an ornamental stone since the upper paleolithic next subbituminous coal whose properties range from those of lignite to those of bituminous coal is used primarily as a fuel for steam electric powder power generation and is a is an important source of light aromatic hydrocarbons for the chemical synthesis industries bituminous coal next point is a bituminous coal is a denser sedimentary rock usually black but sometimes dark brown often with well defined band of bright and dull material it is used primarily as a fuel in steam electric power generation with sub um, sub substantial quantities used for heat and power application in manufacturing and to make coke next steam coal is a grade between bituminous coal and anthracite once widely used as fuel for steam locomotive in this specialized use it is sometimes known as sea coal in the us small steam coal next the anthracite the highest rank coal is a hard glossy black coal used primarily for residential and commercial space heating it may be divided in further into metamorphically 
अल्टर विटामिनस कोल एंड पेंट्रीफाइड ऑयल एज फॉर्म द डिपॉजिट इन द पेंसी विया नेक्स्ट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कोल कोल आर मेनली क्लासिफाइड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द डिग्री ऑफ क्वालिफिकेशन फ्रॉम द पेरेंट मटेरियल वुड वेन वुड इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू कोल देर इज अ ग्रेजुअल इंक्रीज द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ कार्बन डिक्रीज द प्रसेंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एंड नाइट्रोजन कोल इज गिवन रैंकिंग डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द कार्बन कंटेंट ऑफ द कोल फ्रॉम द वुड टू एंथर साइड wood convert into peat peat convert into lignite lignite convert into bituminous coal bituminous coal convert into the large anthracite in these changes increase the percentage of carbon and increase the calcium value and hardness but decrease the percentage of hydrogen oxygen sulfur nitrogen contained and volatile matter see the table type of coal नेक्स्ट परसेंटेज ऑफ कार्बन हाइड्रोजन ऑक्सीजन नाइट्रोजन वोलेटाइल मैटर एंड परसेंटेज ऑफ मॉइचर कैलोरिक वैल्यू सो चेंजेस ऑफ वुड टू एंथ्रोसाइट द परसेंटेज ऑफ कार्बन हाइड्रोजन ऑक्सीजन नाइट्रोजन सी इन दिस टेबल वुड द परसेंट ऑफ कार्बन इज फोर्टी फाइव टू फिफ्टी परसेंट हाइड्रोजन फाइव टू सिक्स परसेंट ऑक्सीजन ट्वेंटी टू फोर्टी परसेंट नाइट्रोजन जीरो टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट वोलेटर मैटर इज जीरो दैट इज परसेंट ऑफ माइचर इज सेवेंटी टू नाइन्टी परसेंट बट कैलोरिक वैल्यू इज फोर थाउजेंड टू फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड नेक्स्ट चेंजेस टू वो चेंजेस टू पीट सी द परसेंट ऑफ कार्बन इज फोर्टी फाइव टू सिक्सटी परसेंट थ्री पॉइंट फाइव टू सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव हाइड्रोजन द परसेंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इज ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ नाइट्रोजन पॉइंट सेवेंटी फाइव टू थ्री वोलेटरी मैटर इज फोर्टी फाइव टू सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट नेक्स्ट द परसेंट ऑफ मॉइचर इज सेवेंटी टू नाइन्टी परसेंट एंड द कैलिफिक वैल्यू इंक्रीजेस फोर थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव टू फाइव थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एटी नेक्स्ट इज लिग्नाइट दैट इज अ ब्राउन कोल द परसेंट ऑफ कार्बन इज सिक्सटी टू सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट द परसेंट ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इज फोर पॉइंट फाइव टू फाइव पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट परसेंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इज सेवेंटी टू सेवेंटीन टू थर्टी फाइव परसेंट परसेंट ऑफ नाइट्रोजन इज पॉइंट सेवेंटी फाइव टू टू परसेंट परसेंट ऑफ वोलेटर मैटर इज फोर्टी फाइव टू सिक्सटी परसेंट परसेंट ऑफ मॉइस्चर इज थर्टी टू फिफ्टी परसेंट then the calorie value is 6600 to 7100 next is a bituminous coal the percent of carbon is 75 to 90% percent of hydrogen is 4 to 4.5% percent. 4 to 5.5% percent. percent of oxygen is 20 to 30% percent. percent of nitrogen is 0.75 to 2% percent. volatile matter 11 to 50% percent. then the percent of moisture is 10 to 20% percent. Then the carbon value is six thousand six hundred to to eight thousand eight hundred. Last is anthracite. The percent of carbon increase ninety to ninety five percent. Percent of hydrogen three to four four uh, percent. Percent of oxygen is two to three percent. Uh, percent of nitrogen is a point five to two percent. Percent of volatile matter is three point eight to ten percent. Percentage of moisture is one point five to three point five percent. The calorific value is uh, highest eight thousand four hundred seventy to eight thousand eight hundred. Next, how to select the coal? The calorific value of coal is high. Moisture content is uh, low. Uh, ash content also low. Sulfur and phosphorus content of coal should be low. Size of coal should be uniform. This is the selection of the coal.